Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we could do another Makeup 101, but this time for brows. I do want to throw out there that I am not a professional makeup artist, nor am I a brow stylist or anything like that. I just get asked quite a bit about brows and how I do my brows and like my sister always asks like how she should shape them. She doesn't know how to shape her brows or like to clean them up or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my process as to how I do my brows at home when I don't go and get them done by a professional. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a brand new video, and let's get started. Okay, so zooming in, I started plucking this brow a little bit, that's probably why it's red if you can see it at all, but my brows are like very, very grown out right now, like you can probably see it really well on this one. So... I would recommend if you don't know the shape of your brow or like what type of brow shape you like to go in and map out your brows. I do apologize for my voice. I'm getting over a cough so it's very very raspy and not the most flattering. Now to map your brows most of the time you want to use something that's like flat or straight. I have a like tongue depressor that I like to use when I need a little extra help because sometimes if I let them get too bad then I can't see the shape at all. I'm gonna grab an eyebrow pencil. Just grab any eyebrow pencil. You can do an eyebrow powder, an eyebrow pomade, just whatever you have that you like to use on your brows. And it's not like it's gonna look good while we're doing this anyway so it really doesn't matter. So you want to take the um, straight device that you have device straight thing that you have and you want to line it up with your nose like I do with the like fatty bulbous part of my nose is that is that what it's called I don't I don't really know to be honest with you but you place it on the side of your nose right here and you place it straight up try to keep my hands from shaking and then you draw a line. And that's not a straight line at all. But you know, we're just going to leave it. Because I, I know the shape of my brows, you know. Okay, so again on this side, just place it straight up. Like that. Again, not a straight line, but at least it's a marker as to where it should fall. The inner corners of my brows are not how they should be, but nobody's brows are perfect. If they are, then congrats. Okay, so now you want to take it the same spot on your nose, like the same side, and they say to put it through. It's so hard to do this without holding a mirror in my face. Let me see if I can pull this one forward a little bit. So it's supposed to be like right here and then like through your pupil is where you should try to do a dramatic line. Have your arch almost. My arch is pretty pretty much there. Do this side as well. I'm trying to look through a mirror to make sure that I'm marking the correct spots. Oop. Okay, that's about where my arches should be. And then you want to take this and move it to the nostril. And then line it up with the lower lash line. Right there. And that's where your tail should end. Let's do this side. Try not to stab myself in the eye. Okay, that's about where you want each landmark of your brow, I guess you could say, to land. Now, I personally like for like the underneath of my brow to be decently straight, so I would probably, I'm just going to draw in my brows, if that makes any sense, but I'm going to make it super dramatic. Connecting, let me, hold on, let me make this line a little bit more longer 
I made it even more crooked. Whatever. So connecting this line, I like to just go straight to this one almost. It arches up a little bit right here. And then connect this portion to the line right there. And then we'll do the same thing up top. If you feel like you make this shape a little wonky, you can always take some micellar water or something like that and like clean up around your brows. But you pretty much want to draw like a really thick, like not thick, but blatantly clear like stencil of where your brows should be. So doing the same thing on this side. Hitting that line and then going like arching it down towards this line just like that then we'll do the top so I made this one a little bit more rounded and take a q-tip and some micellar water and then just take off the like rounded part that's decently similar brows are never the same so it just kind of you gotta roll with the punches now looking at this on my face you may think that it looks aggressive which i could agree it does look decently aggressive but it also depends on how you fill in your brows so at this point, I would take, if you have any hairs outside of where you just drew your brows, I would take your tweezers, your face razor, whatever you use, and I would go around. Normally, I would like to use the tweezers, but I think for the most part, I'm going to use a face razor just so I don't take forever doing it for you guys. The face razors that I use and reach for are the Tinkle. Let me... There you go. Tinkle. They look like that. They're just like little straight face razors. And then just very carefully go around the lines you just put. If there's a hair too close to the line that you can't get, use your tweezers. You don't want to whack off like half your eyebrow. That makes it decently easy on the top portion, for me at least. Once you shape up your brows by doing this as well, it makes it just so much easier to fill in your brows. Okay, so I think that takes care of all of the top, like the top hairs. Now the decently trickier part when you use the razor. You want to hold the razor out like this and then kind of grab your skin and pull it taut. And this is a good thing that you have the line all the way so you can follow that line. Just like that. And then like the underneath right here for me is so hard to get to. Now I'm going to look up close to see how I did. Okay, not bad. Sometimes I get a little scared to do this. Don't forget to, to do like your unibrow area. 
I don't necessarily fully listen to the inner corner portion just because my brows aren't built like that. I try not to take off too much because like eventually I would love for that to grow out and be how it's supposed to be. Looks like I got it all which is great. I didn't even have to use the tweezers which is awesome as well. I just personally like to use tweezers because I feel like like of course it like rips out like the follicle or whatever and it makes it to where you don't have to like keep cleaning it up you know. Okay so now that we have all that like the the shape down from like tweezing it and stuff I'm gonna take my q-tip with my cellar water and I'm gonna go around the edges again but this time it's just to get the extra of those lines off you see what I mean and then I am gonna remove it from the inner corner because I like that nice like faded brow look I don't like it to be too harsh in the front this also helps pick up any extra like hairs that are just laying on your face so they don't get mixed in with your foundation. Okay, so now that we have the general shape down, how you fill it in is up to you. You can use powder. You don't have to have eyebrow powder. You can actually use an eyeshadow if it's like the color that you need. You can also use an eyebrow pencil, you can use an eyebrow pomade, but be careful with that because you can go overboard with a pomade. You can go overboard with literally anything, but a pomade's one of the easiest ones to fuck up, you know what I mean? I always opt for a brow pencil. This is the NYX brow pencil. This one is ash brown. The way to choose the color is you want to go with something that's close to your, in my opinion, Something that's close to your roots, especially if you have like how I do, it's like all brown almost and then like the reddish orange ends. So I always pick a color that's like close to my roots, but like a shade or two lighter. So it's not like super harsh on my face. I think I've heard with brown hair, you want to go a shade or two lighter. If you have blonde hair, then you always want to go a shade or two darker. If you have more warm toned hair, then I would go with a more warm toned brow pencil unless your preference is just more cool toned. If you want something more cool toned or your hair is more cool toned, then I would go with something more cool toned. I'm sure they do have neutral toned colors out there as well. I've just never really cared to look for it because I don't know. I just go with whatever color I think looks good. With the pencil I normally take the spoolie end and brush through my brows just to put them somewhat into the shape that I want them to be. And then I normally start filling in in the middle. But I also try to not put a butt ton of pressure on the pencil because I don't like super harsh brows. Now with that being said, it doesn't mean that they don't turn out harsh sometimes just because of me being like reckless. I mainly try to fill in the areas that I notice that are like more sparse and thin when it comes to the hair. And then when it comes to the front, I normally start at the bottom and like flick upwards a little bit. And then I'll go through and brush it out. I try to get them as even as possible, but sometimes that's not always possible. If you feel like you made them too dark, you can always just keep brushing through with the spoolie and it can remove a good bit of the pigment for you and like kind of sheer it out a little bit. You can also go over it with a brow gel that's slightly lighter to make it look a little bit more dimensional, but also to help lighten it as well. 
brows are always such a, like a personal journey so it's one of those things of like not everything's gonna work for everybody and not every technique works for everybody some people who have a lot less hair like eyebrow hair than I do they have to go in with like something like a brow flick or something like that to create those hair like strokes and then add more and then add uh, like powder and some people have to combine like a bunch of different things to get anywhere near this which I'm very grateful for. Now my two brow gels that I like are the um, the Benefit 3D Brow Tones and I have the shade 4. It looks like this. It is very dirty. Don't judge me. I also like the NYX the Brow Glue. It looks like this. It's normally clear, but mine has like a brownish tint because I use a brow brown pencil. I'm going to use the NYX one today because I am doing a full face of NYX. Now, I personally don't need a brow gel that holds my brows down for days or to hold them in shape or anything because my brows are pretty good at staying in the shape that they need to. I have heard of people using the Got To Be Glued um, hair gel or hairspray as their brow gel. Or, um, I think the Anastasia Brow Freeze? I don't, I don't know. I think that's a good one, according to other people who need, like, hold, hold on their brows. But because I don't really need that supreme of a hold, I just go in with, like, whatever brow gel I think looks nice. Now, I normally start by brushing my hair this way first, because I want to make sure I'm fully coating all of the hairs. And then I start brushing up in the inner corner. And then as I work my way out, I start going that way. Just like that. Slight difference, but not much. Ideally, you probably want to wait to do this after you set your face, but because this is a video all on brows, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, and that is the brows. I think they turned out really good. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera, finish my other video, and then I'll be right back with the completed face to show you what the brows look like with a full face of makeup. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. So you can see what the brows look like with a full face of makeup. I think it looks... Like, it could look a little natural, but it also looks really good with the glam as well, so I don't think it throws off any balance at all. If you have any questions about anything to do with brows, definitely leave it in the comments down below, and I will for sure answer. If there is anything that you need help with or have any questions or anything you want to see a video on, definitely leave it in the comments down below as well. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!